Tyrion Tree, Al Rubin. This brand new series just dropped on Netflix. It's called I Woke Up a Vampire. And this uh, series, uh, it is from Canada and it just dropped on Netflix. In this series, you see Carmen. She is 13, like she turns 13 in this series. And we see, it turns out she is this bampling in this series. And she's kind of like discovering all this power she has. Uh, so this show does center around Carmen her friend and this hunter who is uh, his job is to hunt down all this uh, vampire so in this series we see he's kind of like after all this vampire and everything and he kind of going to Carmen's uh, school so they're in same school this hunter she's a bampling and there's other creature in this series this is still, it is the PG and Carmen, she is in middle school. That is what this show centers around. But I thought this document, this series overall it is quite enjoyable. Like it is, especially uh, the mystery around Carmen's character because she's a bampling in this, uh, but she doesn't know her parents like because she was adopted in this series. So we see she doesn't actually know where she comes from. So this shows her slowly, slowly, they reveal all the mystery around Carmen's this hunter and there's a couple of other uh, creature character also in this series and uh, there's a huge uh, twist about a hunter is working for this guy about him uh, i really like how this show was set up mystery around it uh, it is quite engaging watch once you start watching it and it is kind of like a family friendly like kids friendly show so it's not very like uh, like no blood at all <laughs> no blood or anything like that uh, nothing uh, but I think the series uh, I personally really like the story itself however I do have a huge uh, problem with the lead she is not that good actress uh, and I feel sad seeing this I get it she's really young probably this is her first job or something the way her character and the way she deliver all the dialogue it is kind of bad uh, and she really stands out bad in this series because all the other actors in this series, they are really good. Like the hunter guy, he is good. He's doing good job. And his fr her friend, like her best friend, the guy who's doing all the investigation, that boy is also good. And the creature girl, she's also good. All these characters in this series, they're actually really good. When I think about, uh, I, I am acknowledging it, that she's probably really young, but her acting, the way she was acting is really, sometimes you will feel cringe, uh, especially uh, like there is a, some scene. I was like, shouldn't she be acting more scared or surprised? She was all bubbly and excited, happy. I was like, that didn't feel realistic at all. Obviously the creator for this show, he didn't try to, like he didn't pay attention to her character. Uh, obviously the creator for sh this show, his uh, main focus was on the mystery around all of them. So I overall actually really enjoyed this show. As I was saying, this show is actually quite, quite fun, exciting and engaging. So I personally is actually still overall, I really enjoyed the center actress. She was really annoying, but you can overlook her simply because all the other actors are good. She isn't, I'm guessing she is, this is her first time acting or something. Or maybe the director told her to act that way. Like why she was so bubbly and charming. She's finding out all this thing. There is some scene uh, really very unbelievable. Like she was like pushing that girl over and over and nobody seeing she was just flying around. Like, and sometimes I feel like this show, like I felt like, like when she got power and the way she was like tossing stuff or things she was doing, she was acting like she's superhero. And I was sitting there thinking, this is not a superhero show. This is a, a little, like she, this uh, teen turning into half vampire, half human. You know? the, the, this day, all the show, they take same approach towards show. And this is bad, I've, uh, this is wrong. Uh, but overall, I, I think overall, the show is actually quite interesting and engaging. I think people will enjoy this. This is definitely something you can watch it with your whole family. And if you like this kind of story, it's definitely worth checking. The acting is not overall good, but I must say though, this show that probably didn't have huge budget because it's from Canada, but uh, felt like the show, it still looked good. Overall, all the scene looked good. <laughs> overall, I actually end up enjoying this. Uh, it's just a little nitpick I have. And of them still reviewing this show, I have to see it as a, 
and you get the idea and that was my thought on this let me know in the comment what do you think about this series if you enjoyed about this review don't watch your other reviews on other series if you enjoy this please subscribe until i see you next time please take care